um hey guys what up um i'm in this video i'm going to show you how to get dvds on your ipod nano with the skills that i told you before like how to get uh rockbox and how to convert any video files with um winff first um let's say you have a dvd that you bought that I just bought, like, I got Cloverfield, that's my personal favorite movie, um, and they don't have it on iTunes yet, or, like, you don't want to pay for it, because you already paid for the DVD, all you gotta do is, uh, system I use is called DVD Shrink, which I downloaded it and installed right here, when you open it, it looks like this, and all you have to do is you have to say open disk, See, it says Cloverfield DOM. I don't really know what that means. You say okay, and it loads like all the special features in the main movie and shit. Now, the mo a really important thing that I was having a lot of trouble with for a long time is you have to uncheck all of these. I think yeah, English, French, Spanish, because you don't want your movie being in different languages. That really fucking bothered me, but I figured it out. So, um, you just leave these here, they don't mean anything, but you gotta uncheck all these, if you want it in English. Then, you go to Rearthur, and then it shows, like, all the titles and shit. The longest one is most likely the main movie, which is Title One in this case. You just drag this file over here to DVD Structure, and now it's on here. Now what you have to do is you have to click the Backup button, and you can create a file on your desktop. Um, I'm just gonna save it to this file, it's really for something else, but save yes. And then this comes up. It shows the movie in you know, like really fast. Um it's really what it's doing is it's encoding the movie. And when it's done encoding the movie, I'm just gonna exit out of this because I already have this movie on my iPod. Um yes, I wanna cancel. Okay. So, that wouldn't happen, but, like, when it was done, it would say, like, completed, and, it, and you would open the file that you saved it. Um, this is my file, but, you know, I didn't go through the whole thing. It was just, like, a couple seconds. But, really, it would be, like, a huge-ass VOB file. Now, um, the rest from there, once it's, like, on your computer and it's a VOB file, it's really easy. You just gotta open that file, you gotta open that thing from before called WinFF that you should have downloaded off the link I gave you, and you go to Add Files, and then you go to the place that you saved it to, like, I saved that short file to, um, I saved it to, well, I saved it somewhere on here. Like, when it's done, you just have to, you know, I'm, j I'm just saying, like, this would be it, you would say open and then after that all you have to say is convert and then it starts converting it and then from there it's just uh drag and dropping and that's about it after that it's then you have it on your ipod nano um thanks for watching